Okay, Zappy Hour, special episode. This is our budget episode. Why? Because we're broke. And we know some of you guys are broke. So we're gonna do a budget episode because it doesn't take that much money to make a fancy meal and have some fancy cocktails. Let's go inside. One, two, three, four. This is the show where we make drinks and drink. Together in kitchen and we do all sorts of things. Drinking and cooking and cooking and drinking. Budget episode, what we did this week is uh, we decided to do everything from the dollar store. We gave ourselves a budget of $25. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a cheap date. And we're going to make sure that this date is good. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're making lentil soup on my side with a Caesar salad. Soup and salad? Damn, this classy. Prepare your vagina. Open up your mind vagina. Yeah. Oh, this is the continuation of the mind vagina discussion that we started from last episode. For... It's gonna be a whole mind vagina series. This yeah. is only part two of a seven part series. Mm -hmm. This is budget vagina. Right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our lentil soup. Uh, so we have this mirepoix right here. We're gonna get this sauteing and then we're gonna add chicken broth, our lentils, and some garlic and some other stuff. The 99 cent store that we went to had some fruit and wine. All right, so I had to like work with that. But we're gonna break the rules a little bit for this first cocktail. We're gonna use some Bacardi rum that we have lying around. Second ingredient, Mondo, Kiwi Strawberry Splash. Bam! Two more ingredients, lemon and fresh mint. Don't fucking worry about it. This is shit that's just lying around the house. There you go. Hey, we should shout out a couple of fans, right? Nope. Four ounces of this Bacardi. You're gonna take a Mondo. All you gotta do is twist that bad boy. You're gonna squeeze it. How much? Like the whole thing. All right, I will go first. You seem busy. Please, thank you. Why would it do that? We use these shot glasses, right? Hmm. You're right. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't be like that. This is like physics, dude. What? Hold on, what's Why happening? Is There's a thinner one. Oh, just drink that beer, there dude. You go. That was really weird. Back to the cocktail. Lemon. Put ice in your mixing tin. Let's check this out. Ooh. Booyah. It's not done yet. Yeah, I like how delicate you're being. Pop, pop. Look at that. Mm. That's kind of nice, right? Name it for our viewers. What is this called? This is called the Mind Delicious. Pop, pop. So good, you just want to finish it. Sober and responsible. The lentil soup is simmering now, but in the meantime, we're going to get our Caesar dressing ready. So. If you look up Caesar salad, you'll notice that it involves sardine. It's like a sardine aioli, pretty much. We're going to blend that all together with mustard, egg yolks, lemon, garlic, whatever, man. You got all that at the 99 cent store? Look, that's That was close. I'm not an asshole. Don't, don't do that to yourself. I'm a nice guy. You're so nice. Okay, I'm gonna get started on the second cocktail, which is a white wine fruit cocktail, okay? It's gonna wait, take- Wait, wait. What? Shut your mouth. Shut your stupid. We're gonna get started on our second cocktail, but before we do that, we have to get really fucked up. This right here is gonna blow some mind vaginas. Intelligence, dude. Sapiosexual. What? Apparently, those are people who are turned on by people who are intelligent. So, what's in right now is just being smart. But hey, dumb people, don't fret. It's easy to pretend like you're smart. But you have to put in a little bit of effort, okay? Carmenere is a great variety that originally came from Bordeaux. Man, drinking, right? No. And then in the mid 1800s, there was this plague that. Yeah. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You didn't even make it in the glass. I did make it in. You there. didn't make it. I in made the glass. it in there. So yeah, Carmenere for like a while was thought to be just extinct, mm -hmm. but it was mislabeled. They didn't. Oh, you drink, you little bitch. Carmenere used to be in Europe. It came over to Chile accidentally. They didn't even know they brought it over. They mislabeled it. And then everything in Europe died. They were so sad. They were like, oh my God, the Carmenere is dead now, forever, extinct. And then they rediscovered it in Chile and they sell it at the 99 cent store now. The point of this is that you do a little research and you explain it soberly. If you're not sober, you explain it and you make shit up. If you don't have the money to splurge, to you know, invest in luxury, you can at least compensate with knowledge. Hey, Ooh. did we learn something about Carmenere? We taught you something. Flat out. You tell that story, all of a sudden, that's a $30 glass right there. 
So for your Caesar salad, we're going to whisk together a little Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to use that to dress whole leaves of romaine. It actually tastes really good. Let me try it. Yeah, it's really good. Going back to wine pouring and proper etiquette, pour like so and fill to the top. Because how else are you going to enjoy wine? Mmm. Mm. You take a big gulp, you drink it, and then you yeah. say... That's good wine. Wow, that is delicious wine. Yep. What we're making is a white wine fruit cocktail. Oh, how does this work? Like that. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, come off. Oh. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Oh. You're going to take some wine, one and a quarter cups, a third cup of sugar. Let's do this. Well, why would you go do that? That's not even... I was just having fun. That's the, like, that's the first time... You I just wanted it. I, like, I looked at it, and then I just took it. That's how a man is. Why do you say things like that, and then it makes me not feel like a man? No, no, no. You're a man. You're a man. You're not, you're not making me feel like hey. a man. No, My I, bad. That's fine. You know what? Let's no, stop. You drink you know it. what? No, you drink it. it. Ignore it. I want to drink too, all right? But you be drinking with like pizzazz and shit, you know? Like if I try to drink with... Hey, you, hey. Whatever. Don't do that to yourself, man. Forget about it. You want a cocktail? Oh. You want a cocktail? I That's yours. That. That's you. I can drink that. That's hey, I'm still in control of what's happening here. Okay. Well, we're ignoring that. Medium heat, wine, sugar. You gotta let it get to a boil. Why cover it, motherfucker? You take that and you wanna cool it down because you don't want a hot fucking drink. So you make room in your freezer to put this in there. Yeah, drunk. Yeah, I'm there. Our lentil soup is simmering right now. It's looking rather beautiful. All right, normally you make this, uh, you let it cool, obviously, and you put the fruit in a bowl and then you cover the, the fruit with the wine and you let it sit for eight hours. We don't have eight hours, okay? Hello. Ooh, watch out. Any situation that you're in, someone is going to be the mind vagina and someone's going to be the mind penis. I'm not gonna say like who does what. I'm just saying, you're trying to impress upon someone with your knowledge. With your knowledge. And that the knowledge is the mind penis. Right. If you're a female and you want to insert your mind knowledge into a, a male's man. mind vagina. That's perfectly fine. That's gonna, absolutely fine. He's going to take it. Yeah. Okay. Everyone is a mind hermaphrodite. Uh-huh. Open your mind to that. Okay. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like I see a girl and she'd be talking about the right things. Right. Her mind dick is all up in my mind vagina. Yeah. I'd, I'd be wet for it. Everybody wants to be penetrated with that mind intelligent dick. How do you do that? All right. You do a little bit of research. You put in a little bit of effort and just try. Honestly, you're everything you need to be. Okay. Don't doubt yourself. You're so awesome. Get those women or men, whatever you need. It's self-confidence. It's effort. Anything is attainable. Any vagina or penis can be yours. If you subscribe to our show. Hey guys, so we've been breaking these croutons and this is just some bread that I had left over from Panera. That's gonna help hold the dressing really well, all right? Okay, so we have the wine and sugar mix right here. It should have cooled down, so we're just gonna pour it into a cup. We're gonna pour into these glasses. Let's finish the wine. Hey, pop, pop. <sighs> I'm gonna be drunk after that. Oh, carbonara, that's so good. Oh wow, red wine is surprisingly easy to drink. These these glasses are too big. Red seed, seedless grapes have cantaloupe chopped up and tangelos. Bam, bam, bam. You throw a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. It's like a fruit salad. There's more fruit in there than drink now. You're right. Why why do that? Why why save any of it? Like why are we fucking around? Like for real. Oh, you know what? It's good that you mixed it cuz I was a little bit worried that yeah, the Yeah, you have to make sure it's and then you... we almost got there. We have our whole romaine leaves here. I grated some parmesan cheese. It's on top. We're going to add our dressing and what we're going to do, we're going we're going to do it by hand. And that's why I have these gloves on. We're going to put that on a plate. Let's just call that our salad. Yeah. Bam, we made these croutons. This is our lentil soup. 
This thing is beautiful. We're going to add a little bit of a uh, minced cilantro and then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Hey, uh, budget episode, 99 cent store. We did it. We have a Caesar salad made from scratch. We also have lentil soup made from scratch. Beautiful, beautiful. Show us. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my God. That's really good. What do you have, Gabe? On this side, we had the Mondelicious earlier, and this one we had the white wine fruit cocktail. Yeah. Look how good that is. All right, it's mostly fruit. Yeah. But there's wine in that bitch. Yeah. All right, let's see how that tastes. That's not bad at all. That's sweet, but that's like not overbearing sweet. There's not as much drink because I spilled a lot of it, but that's good. Wow, that's a lot of fruit spilled right there. Hey guys, happy hour, episode whatever. 54. <laughs> My name is Dennis. My name is Gabe. We got lentil soup and we got a, a Caesar salad right here. And we got a white wine fruit cocktail. Mind vagina, mind dick. Remember that. Get your mind freak on, girl. Mmm. Lesson two in the part seven lesson of mind vaginas. One, two, three, four. Yo, did you bump into me right now? Wait, you got a problem? Yo. Relax your lips, baby. I, I think you'd win fight. that fight. I think you'd win that fight. I would end that fight. If you said, relax your lips, and then you went off, you went like to take off your shirt, mm -hmm. but instead of the shirt, you take off your pants, like that would be perfect.